Sarah, Chantel. You guys want to see the place? It's got a nice view. It's got a nice view. All right, so. Wait, before I show you guys around, I not, um, okay, quick, quick, quick thing. Um, so there's a passcode to get into the room. It's like, there's no key. There's no like, it's just like a dial. You have to put a bunch of numbers in. Can someone guess like what the first two numbers are of the passcode? It's ridiculous. What are the first two numbers of the password to get into this room? Yeah, yeah, like what the heck? I swear, it's like giving us signals. 69, 69, yeah. Like first it was our gate, now it's the password to this room. Also, this is kind of freaky too, guys. Look at this, the first thing I see when I open the door, this is the first thing I see. What are the chances, guys? What are the freaking chances? I think this is meant to be. I think this is meant to be. I think this is supposed to be our room, you know? <laughs> I think this is our calling right here, guys. Crazy. Yeah, yeah. No, weird, eh? Freaking weird. All right, guys, so I'm gonna show you guys around. Okay, they're telling me. All right, so this is our, uh, this is you walk in. You got our kitchen over here, pretty sweet. So I'm not in a hotel, I'm in an Airbnb. Pretty sweet kitchen. I literally haven't even checked anything out yet. We got our little like chill area here uh, with our TV. It's nice, eh? It's cozy for a one person room. We got the bed. I've never seen a bed that's not on like a it's just on the ground, but that's okay. It looks comfy. Um, it's nice. Can't complain. Yeah. Um, we got closet space. We got our bathroom with the laundry in the bathroom. Nice, right? It's pretty nice. Are you ready to see Ho Chi Minh City? Here we go, guys. Oh, man. I really hate to let so. this one go. I guess you bring this chair outside. Such a new skin. This is freaking epic, eh? I feel very out of place when I get to somewhere new. My anxiety like amps up so high. Um, so I think as usual, got to a new place. We're gonna have to get a little bit accustomed. Um, just get used to this, but guys, this is our home. That's how I know it's our home and the passcode. We are there for six nights, six nights in total. Um, Six nights here, I leave on Monday for uh, for Cambodia. So, we got six more nights in Vietnam. It's meant to be, exactly. Um, yeah, the signs, exactly. 
We're gonna have some sweet sunset lives here, I'm telling you. So there's no beach, but like, guys, I like this view. When I walked in, like my jaw dropped. It's a loud city though. It's a super loud city. But yeah, guys, we're here, you know? It's beautiful. It's beautiful. I'm gonna have to explore and uh, we're on the, I think the 12th floor, so it's pretty high up. But um, don't drop the phone, no, don't drop the phone. It's beautiful, look at this. Like, holy, holy, oh my goodness. Yeah. And, um, Are you traveling by yourself? Yeah, I'm here by myself. Maureen's starting us off. There she is. Let's freaking go. Thank you, Maureen. Hi, Rachel. Yeah, here by myself. People are really friendly here. Um, this is Ho Chi Minh City. So, um, yeah. Uh, I gotta get used to this though. This is like weird. Every time I get to a new place, I feel so out of place. But I did notice that in Hanoi, by like the second, third day, I started to feel like way more comfortable. So I know it's gonna be the same here. I'm sure when we get to Cambodia, it's gonna be the same deal. Just getting accustomed to everything. Um, it's never easy, but yeah, it's normal, right guys? <laughs> it's normal. Um, what's really cool guys is this is the Airbnb, but the next place we go to is a hostel. Actually, the next two places we go to are hostels. So that's a totally different experience. Um, it'll provide me more with like a, a social setting, which is awesome. Uh, like meet people, uh, meet travelers, meet tourists. So that would be cool is uh, just to be, I'm gonna be in like bunk beds and stuff for the next place. So yeah, we're here for six nights. Hi, Michelle. Six nights in total, Tuesday to Monday. And then we're uh, then we're off to Cambodia. So another step in the adventure. Yes, yes. Um, I'm gonna unpack and stuff. We got a couple books we're gonna read tonight. <laughs> um, I'll keep looking around the room for more signs. You know, um, so I feel like this is meant to be. This is our place. Are you hungry? Um, I don't know if. If you guys saw on the Facebook group, but I posted a picture of my meal at the airport. There's a lot of food, so kind of good now. Reed's gonna read. No, no. Pho was amazing. It was so good. Um, <laughs> but I got it on my shirt. So it was like trying to get this freaking stain off for like 30 minutes. Yeah, it was good though. It tasted good. It tasted amazing. Um, it is 7.52 p.m. here. So it's nighttime in Ho Chi Minh City. Um, apparently, now we don't even know anymore what to believe, but apparently it's a little less safe than Hanoi. But then again, I didn't feel that unsafe at Hanoi. I never walked around late at night by myself. So, I mean, this is the same deal. I'm not going to walk around by myself late at night. But, um, yeah, you got to be safe everywhere, guys. Um, I'm sure we'll enjoy it here. There's a pool. There's a pool here. Uh, I'll have to check that out and see where it is. Uh, I think there's a rooftop bar, but I think it's closed. She was saying it's closed for the month. It's fine, we don't drink. But yeah, um, we're gonna have to see what to do here. <laughs> this is the problem. We get somewhere new and we're like, now what? Like, what do we do? It's a busy city. Yeah, it's a really busy city. Hanoi and Ho Chi Minh are very different. Hanoi is the best way to experience the culture of Vietnam. It's more authentic. Ho Chi Minh City is 20 years ahead. So everything's just uh, advanced. Everything's advanced, not as authentic, um, probably a little more touristy, which makes it a little more dangerous. Um, but you know, the ride here was insane. Is there a special lamp? We'll have to see. You guys can tell me if this lamp's good enough. Um, no, I don't think it's as good as the last one. This is all we got. 
this is all we got. It's a darker room, actually. But we do have this, so maybe we can iron the shirt. <laughs> um, let's look at, like, the room a bit, guys. Let's see, like, I haven't checked anything out here yet. So, okay. So this is fantastic. It says, like, it says, I can and I will. Uh, the steam didn't work. No, I tried it. I tried the steam. Uh, I tried the blow dryer. It did not work. So, um, yeah, that's okay. Okay, let's let's just go through everything. This is what I do when I get to a new place. I just check out everything. Okay, empty fridge, amazing. <laughs> empty freezer, nice. Okay. Um, I don't even know like what's in here. All right, let's see. I just like to look around and see what they have. All right, nice, we got our plates. I don't think we're gonna cook here, but that's fine. Um, what does this say? What does that say? I am in, I'm in what? What does that say? I am in, <laughs> anyways, be the change in your world. Cup of tea. I am in Esler. I don't even know what this is. It's fine. It's fine. We're over it. All right. Um, no tea. No tea. What else is here? Yeah, everything's pretty empty, eh? Yeah. Cooking tools. We got a rice cooker, I think. Ah, pots and pans. Nice. What's here? Um, what the heck is this? Okay, I have no idea what that is. Um, nice, nice. Some chopsticks. <clears throat> Some placemats. We got our water, nice. We gotta get a lot of water for this room because once again, we can't drink the tap water. We got our little, or our tea, coffee, giant tissue box. <laughs> Um, I might bring this chair out to the patio area so it can like chill out there. Look at the lights. Was it a small dishwasher? Oh, maybe. We got books, microwave, empty again. <sighs> What's this? Okay, maybe just random stuff. No Oreos, no Oreos. Um, all right, let's go to the next room. Wow, there's so much space. Like we have like four shirts, so I don't think we need all these drawers, you know, but like, holy, holy, there's so much closet space. Okay. Um, mm -mm. A lot of space. This is the view from my room. How cool is this? Wake up in the morning, just like look outside. It's so beautiful. I love all the lights. Yeah, one shirt for each drawer, exactly. Chantel, you were too late. Did Chantel steal Maria's joke? Okay, um, we got our little office area. Mirror. Ooh, this would actually make a good like TikTok. This could be like a good TikTok mirror right now, you know? Where we like, just do like something like that, you know? All right, cool. Um, I still have a couple in the draft, so our TikTok station, we got it, Laura Robinson. Holy space, what the heck? It's like they expect us to have like more than f a week's worth of clothes. Oh my goodness. I swear this has more space in the, uh, in the hotel. Should we just like buy a bunch of clothes just so we can use all of it? All this space, take advantage. Damn. Oh my goodness, what the heck? <clears throat> okay. Okay, my favorite part, guys, is we gotta test the bed. I'm gonna say it's gonna be, like the last bed was a 9.5 out of 10. 9.5 out of 10. This bed, based on how it looks, the fact that there's no box spring, the fact, the fact that it's, also I really like these lights at the bottom, it's kinda cool. 
Um, the fact that there's no box spring, I'm like kind of concerned. So I'm gonna say, I'm gonna guess that it's not that great of a bed based from the looks, but we can't just go by looks, right? All right, let's lay down on it. Here we go, bed test. I know, I know it's not gonna be as good as the last one because we slept like amazing. Last place. Is there more space? Oh my goodness, what the heck? How do you open this? Oh, that's like the furnace. <laughs> okay, let's close this. <laughs> okay, let's lay down. <sighs> yeah, I know, this is not good. I just okay though. It's like a six. Six out of ten. We'll deal, guys. You know, there's no box spring. Um, take a look at the ceilings. The ceilings don't match up to our last place either. But that'll do. You know, it'll do. I love how you look at everything. I actually love that's my favorite part when I get to a new place. I look at everything. Like every object. Pillows? Oh yeah. Gotta try the pillow too. This bed might be like a six out of ten, five out of ten. All right, pillows. This bed's not good. This is not a good bed, but this view, oh my goodness. Like you compare the last place's view to this, it's no, it's no comparison, you know? So we're gonna have to give and take a little bit with the, with the bed. Um, so that's that guys. I gotta unpack. Probably gonna go for a little walk before it's like too late to walk around. Um, I plan my, I love seeing through, seeing things through your eyes. I love having you guys here with me. Um, what was I gonna say? Oh, I got my ride all planned out. So like I got my pickup, my pickup, the guy was holding with a, a huge sign that said, Mr. Reed, when I got to the airport. Um, and then same guy's gonna like drop me back to the airport when I leave for Siam Reap, Cambodia on Monday. Um, but yeah, I don't really know what to do here. Like, what, what do you, like, what would you guys do? If you got to a Airbnb, it's 8 p.m. at night, obviously you're gonna unpack, but like, what would you guys do? Just walk around? Like, should I just walk around the city for a bit? Like, I don't even know what to do with myself. I'm so like out of place. Another tour. Yeah, we can do a tour for sure. An excursion of some sort for this place. Eat and sleep, <laughs> yeah. All right, quick walk, grab some food. When I got into Chicago, I met people for dinner. Yeah, see, this is the problem is like, I haven't met a ton of people on this trip yet, which is fine. But like the next two weeks, I have a week in Siam Reap, Cambodia, hostel. Apparently it's a crazy hostel. Like I wanna show you guys this hostel for the next place. Look at this, look what it looks like. Wait, I have to see if I can find it. It's insane. It got a 9.7 stars out of 10. Um, let me see if I can find the hostel so I can show you guys without actually showing you guys where I'm staying. Um, oh, okay. For those that wanna know the last place, what it's, what it's called, if you ever go to Hanoi and you wanna stay at the last place um, that I was at, it's called Peridot. Peridot Grand Hotel. Uh, beautiful, honestly guys, like that was phenomenal. Um, my favorite part about the place was like the customer service. Like they were so good. Like they were so on top of things. Like, I was really, really impressed. Okay, let me see if I can show you. Mm. So this is Sam Reap, but like look at this place. I'm staying in an eight person. Um, let's see if I can find it. Oh, okay, yeah, I found it. I have to be a little bit careful, guys. It's not like I don't trust you, but I don't want to like start showing exactly the name and stuff just in case. So um, let me just get a photo. Okay, look at this next place. This is the uh, first place in Cambodia. I'm just saving the picture so I can show you. Okay, this is the next place. So the next place, guys, Cambodia, I'm staying in a hostel. So it's like obviously significantly cheaper than like an Airbnb or hotel. Um, guesses, how much is the next place? How much is the next place per night? Cambodia, hostel, make your pick. I want uh, American dollars though, American dollars. How much is the next place in Cambodia? 
in American dollars at the hostel. 30 bucks a night, 69 bucks a night, 75 bucks a night, 10, 10, 64, 45. It's seven dollars a night. Seven dollars a night, and uh, this is it. <laughs> like, and apparently, like, I'm in like one of these rooms, and it's like a eight-person bunk bed. Yeah, seven bucks a night, and get to stay in this thing. What the heck? I know, but that's 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 like, we're talking like a week from now, so we don't need to think about that yet. But yeah, seven bucks a night. Cambodia is like a vibe ready. That is a hostel. It is a hostel. Oh, wait till you guys see Thailand. Wait till you guys see the Thailand place. I'm so pumped. Um, so yeah, guys. I hope the shower is good. I always get so excited just like see the new place. Like this looks like a good shower, guys. And they left me soap and shampoo, which is like not every place does that. That's a steal of a deal. Guys, 9.7 stars out of 10 too. Everyone was saying, this is what everyone said on the reviews for this place. They were like, um, if you're a solo traveler, this is the be one of the best hostels to stay at. Um, so that's really uh, sketchy shampoo. <laughs> yeah, maybe we just use our own. Um, they're like, it's the best place to go if you're a solo traveler, because uh, it's a party hostel. So I'm not gonna be like partying like crazy, but I like that it's a party hostel because it means like I'll meet people I might not be as live as much in Cambodia for those two weeks because um, I'm in an eight person bunk bed for both the places. So I can't just like go live at night or whatever. Like I still have to like, it's gonna be tough. We'll, we'll, we'll go live. It just might mean like maybe shorter lives or something or maybe outside lives, but it might be tough to do lives in the room with eight people there. Um, we'll figure it out once we're there. In the meantime, we got our own place here in Ho Chi Minh City. We'll enjoy it. And uh, I'm glad you guys are here with me. So um, I, the reason I want to do hostel, um, normally every time I travel uh, for the last like six years, seven years that I was doing like the summer travels, I always stay in hostels every single time. The only reason I didn't this time is because I want to be able to have the privacy with you guys, you know? Um, but I also still want to have that social aspect. So I wanted to do like kind of half and half where I can have time with you guys. We can go live at night, whatever, have our own privacy. And then obviously like sometimes I'm not be with people, meeting people. Um, and yeah, so that'll be cool. I'm excited for that. Um, it's always nice to meet people, but I do enjoy, you know, having our time having our time and, and being silly in the room and crawling around the floor and stuff. But just know that we can't crawl around the floor in our hostel, okay? Because we're trying to make friends, not lose them. And I don't know if people would be impressed if I'm like crawling by their bunk bed, you know, doing like dirty dancing vibes, okay? So like I said, we gotta, we gotta make sure that we're, we're trying to meet people. We're trying to meet people, see maybe, maybe the ones out there. No, I'm joking. Um, Maybe the one's actually into the crawling stuff, you know? Maybe the one's like, holy, who's this guy crawling around my room? Crawl to me, you know? Um, yeah. <laughs> what about vents? There's a ton of vents in here. Maureen found the first one. Um, there's actually a lot of vents. There's, there's one vent there. There's one vent there. There's a vent there. Holy, there's a lot of vents. So we're gonna get comfy. You guys pick where you wanna stay. Um, I do have to let you know that this vent here, there's a capacity of five people. So it's first come, first serve. And uh, you know, you guys pick where you wanna stay. There's a couple extra blankets and pillows in, uh, in the closet. If you get cold, let me know. I can throw some up for you. Um, just behave up there, guys, because listen, this is like our last six days in Vietnam and like I wanna end it off on a good note. The hostess is like super nice and I don't want people complaining like that the vents are loud and people are like partying and stuff. So just behave up there, okay? Thank you. I really appreciate it. Um, you're sleeping on the balcony? Hey, Dottie. Dottie. Dottie's got that one as well. Thank you, Dottie. I'm always quiet. I don't know about that. 
Um, okay. Oh, for those that didn't see the lunch today or are not a part of the Facebook group, this is my lunch today. It was really good. I had pho for the first time. In Vietnam, they don't say pho, they just say pho. Like, that's it. So I was walking around and I was like, do you know where I can get some pho? Because it's pronounced like that in Canada, right? And he's like, what? I'm like, pho. He's like, huh? He's like, pho? I'm like, yeah, pho. Pho. I don't know. Whatever. I just, I just want pho, you know? Anyways, we got pho. This is what the pho looked like. It was really good. If anyone saw it on the Facebook group, here it is the second time. It was so good. And then I got like some ham and cheese croissant. Croissant. Um... Okay, let's take one more last view at our look. Or one more last look at our view. This is how tired I am. We're switching words. Um, and, uh, and then I'm gonna get some food and just kind of settle in here for a bit. Um, let's play a tune. You know what just got suggested to me as a tune? Disney Aladdin. Sure, let's go. All right, guys. Let's go outside or uh, for a view, mm -hmm. go for a walk. So loud, it's so loud. Awesome, guys. I love these lights. Chi Minh City guys, this is Vietnam. We are in the south of the country, all the way at the south. So it works out perfectly to, uh, to go to Cambodia after. Right at the south. So we are all the way at the north in, Ho Chi in uh, Hanoi. person requested 13 times in a row when we were outside 13 times in a row there's got to be a way to fix that so that people can't do that because that's not cool let me see if I can change a setting it's like really frustrating it's when someone does that okay give me one second guys and then uh, I know right it's just like like I get it if you do it like three or four times because it's like maybe like the first two they were busy whatever but like after you do it like 14 times like that's just not cool like it's just like not respectful I would only request someone twice you know if someone doesn't like if someone didn't like accept the first time like how many more times can you ask them but it is what it is um, okay I gotta figure out how to take this off I just want to change that I know there's a setting, guys. Sorry, give me one second. I just don't want someone to be able to do that all the time. Okay, so allow requests from friends, yes. Allow suggested requests. Allow invites from friends. Allow suggested invites. Allow notifications about hosts you follow going live. Okay, 
Well, it is what it is, guys. <laughs> um, holy, it's freaking hot. I'm gonna take this off. I did not think it'd be this hot here. Like, so Ho Chi Minh City is significantly hotter um, and makes sense that Cambodia is really hot. It's actually closer, take this in, it's actually closer to get from Cambodia, Siem Reap, where I'm going next, to Ho Chi Minh. Those two are closer than Hanoi to Ho Chi Minh. So even though they're in the same country, one's all the way at the top, one's all the way at the bottom. Um, so that's why the, I think the flight for the next, the next place we go to, it's like only like an hour. The flight from Ho Chi Minh City to Hanoi was two hours and 20 minutes. So it's quite different guys. Oh wow. Don't look down. Don't look down guys. Holy, don't drop your phone either. I'm holding it tight guys, don't worry. But um, wow, I love this building. That's my favorite right there. I wanna go up there. Scale one to 10, how do I feel right now? Okay, so like I'm not gonna lie. Um, I get very anxious. That's just like part of just how I, that's just the way my brain works. I get very anxious when it comes to time to like new things. So it's like when I get anywhere new or I'm trying something new, I get anxious. That's just how I work. Um, usually it takes me a couple of days with anything to like get adjusted. So I'm not gonna lie and say I'm an eight out of 10 right now or a seven out of 10, I'm probably about a six. It's not that I'm not happy, I'm happy. I'm just, uh, I just got a lot on my head right now. I just got like a lot of things I'm thinking about. Um, so it's hard for me to say I'm a seven out of 10 when I'm like, my brain's like moving really quick. Every day is gonna get easier, guys. We're just gonna get adjusted. Um, you know, traveling on your own is I think awesome, but it's times like these where it's a little tougher because you get somewhere new. You know, if I was traveling with my friend and he was here with me right now, or she was here with me right now, um, it's probably easier, you know? I'd probably say to them, let's go for a walk. Let's go get some food. You're by yourself. It's a whole different, it's a whole different thing, right? Um, but then again, there's so much beauty to traveling on your own too. So if you ever get a chance, guys, to travel by yourself, take that opportunity. I'm telling you, just, I, I, wanna, I wanna be very clear about this. I'm not courageous. I'm not brave. Like, I, like everyone can do this, okay? So, so you just gotta find that inner strength to do stuff sometimes in your life that just allow you to push outside your comfort zone. This is so outside my comfort zone. Um, but anyone can do it, all right? Just hop on a freaking plane and do it. Um, it's so worth it, it's so worth it. And um, this is the one thing I love about traveling by myself is I'm alone with my thoughts all the time, right? So it just uh, allows you to really learn about you, right? You learn so much about you. And so you realize that because you're by yourself, um, you really dictate how good your trip is, right? Um, I could sit in this bed for the next six days and not go outside my comfort zone, right? Like that's kind of like what my heart is telling me, but at the same time, I know that like that one make the experience as good. So you have to almost push yourself in so many ways. And that goes for the same with life, right? You gotta push yourself to do things that you might not normally think you would do. And you'd be surprised at how much strength you guys have with just the things that you think you can't do just because you didn't try, right? Sometimes we make this up in our head and we say like, oh, I can never do that or I can never you know, experience that. Well, like, did you try, right? Did you try? If you tried and you, and you couldn't, then yeah, but you gotta always try things. So, um, yeah. I love the view from the window too. Damn. To figure out like where to go right now. I don't love walking around alone at night. It is scary for me. Um, last night, uh, it was like 11 o'clock at night. I just finished packing. I just finished checking in, but I was so hungry. So I'm like, Everything was closed, obviously, when I'm walking down the street. But I was trying to find food, but I didn't want to go to bed hungry. Um, and that was a little scary, I'm not gonna lie. Sorry, my phone's at 20%. But yeah, we found food and it was good, so. Um, you just gotta push yourself sometimes, guys. Push yourself. Um, I really wanna see the pool here. 
apparently there's a pool here open till 5 30 so we're gonna check that out um the reviews for this airbnb said that this is in the central of everything so hopefully it's like not too crazy to get around to places um the driving here i thought hanoi was crazy in terms of the driving i've never thank you tracy i've never been so freaked out um in, in a car as from this airport to this airbnb like I can't even explain it, guys. I, I can't even do justification to explain how crazy these streets are. Um, the best way for me to explain it right now to you is to just kind of like show you, like, I, I just can't even like put it into perspective. It, it is so nuts. Like, it's not that they go fast. It's that there's no like, there's no, everyone does their own thing. Like everyone just figures it out. And the number of times I thought like the guy was gonna like, I was gonna get into an accident because it was crazy. Everyone just kind of swerves around each other. People like don't really follow any sort of like common rule. Um, but then again, you'd think that like everyone would be getting into accidents, but it's not like that, you know? I, I guess everyone gets adjusted here that like you just kind of figure it out. But I don't know, where I'm from, um, <laughs> it's a little bit different, of course. So a little bit of a culture shock. Was it close from the airport? It was, so this is a thing, is like, it was 10 kilometers away. I don't, I don't know what that is in miles, probably like, maybe like six miles, five miles, um, which isn't far. Like typically 10 kilometers for me would take like 10 minutes at home, but because of the, the car situation here, um, it took like 40. So everything takes longer, even though it's not as far because it's just the congestion, right? It's so congested in terms of just getting around and um, and whatnot. So um, we've got a lot to see in Ho Chi Minh City. I'm excited, guys. We got six full nights here. Uh, this is the first of six, of course, and uh, I hope I hope it's an awesome time here. So um, I'm not gonna lie, guys. Vietnam is probably the biggest culture shock I've had in traveling, even more than Colombia. Um, it might have to do with the fact that I don't speak the language. Um, I think that's probably like the main thing is uh, I don't speak the language and a lot of the people here can't speak, the la uh, can't speak English. So I think that's what's made it a little bit more of a culture shock. Colombia, I was, you know, you habla espanol muy bien, no problem. So it's like, it was easier for me. Here it's like, you, I really feel like out of place sometimes, but I think that's what makes the experience that much more special is just being able to have to adapt and get used to things and know that it's not like at home, right? It's not like at home. Um, Ho Chi Minh City is known for some of the best bars and nightclubs in all of Asia. Um, so, I mean, I don't really party. We're kind of past the I'm like kind of over it, the partying stage. Um, but I feel like we should go, I feel like I should go to a bar one night or something crazy, you know, do it up one night with a wrinkled shirt. And uh, yeah, he's ready to party. So you may need to use your Pictionary skills. Yeah, yeah. YOLO, YOLO. All right, guys. Well, thank you for joining me on this super quick live. I'm going to, I don't even know what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to unpack, walk around, get some food, check out this place, and um, just kind of get a little more situated. But thank you so much for being here, guys, for this tour of our place. And um, just remember, I'll leave it on this note. Just remember kindness is the new black. All right, you guys, kindness is the new black and I don't know how this picture, I feel like I feel like the hostess knew I was blacky and put this up for me or something because it's just too coincidental and then changed like the, the code to the door. Like guys, like what the heck? Like I literally opened the door and the first, oh, I need the key, but the first two digits are six, nine. And I'm like, guys, this is our home. Like this is actually our home. This is meant to be. What the heck was that? Oh, okay. Um, 
Okay. All right. I love you guys so much. Uh, I know it's like 8.30 in the morning for a lot of people. So go enjoy your day today. It's almost the end of my day. I'm in the future. A lot of you are in the past, you know. Um, it is Black 18 Mom's birthday. I don't think she's in here right now, but it's Black 18 Mom's birthday on my time zone in four hours. But I'm going to wait until I guess it would be midnight uh, yeah, because I'm 12 hours ahead. No, noon. Noon. So noon, I guess. Is that right? Yeah, her birthday's on the 18th of January. So i got to figure out that out with the time difference. When to wish her happy birthday. I like to wish people happy birthday at exactly midnight. So yeah, that'd be noon on the 18th. So noon on the 18th, Black 18 Mom's birthday. We're going to we'll do a live for her and maybe even have her jump in a box little guest requests and uh you can all wish her a happy birthday black 18 mom's been so supportive on this journey um my whole life you know and uh she makes it to like almost every single live um she's like really been like super supportive on this tiktok stuff um i i like these these last like year and a half has been like really special for me um but i think because it's been so different it's just been so different for me also like has been stressful in a way you know different stress but it's just been really overwhelming and black 18 mom's kind of seen me with the ups and the downs and she's been supporting me and kind of being there for me when i started to question just myself and you know sometimes like where this is going and you know like she's always been really really good and lifting me up when i when i need it most so we gotta really celebrate her birthday big Thank you, Dottie, for the cake. And um, yeah, moms are the best. Exactly, exactly. Um, we can't leave Blackie 18 dad out of this, but yeah, she's uh, she's been really, uh, really supportive. So we'll, we'll celebrate for her B-Day. And uh, she doesn't like birthdays, but that's okay. We're gonna forget about that and still celebrate uh, her birthday. Yeah, that's what moms are for. Exactly, exactly. Um, and guys, like, you see how she is on TikTok. It, it's like, it's been like that my whole life, you know, where she's just always been really supportive and loving and uh, just wants the best for me. She's, she's always said to my sister and I is like, you two are my life, you know, like you two are my happiness. And when you two are happy, I'm happy. And you can feel that like when she, just with the things she does for us, just to make sure we're happy, whether it's when we're grown up or even our in our adulthood is just, she always wanted us to know that she's always there and she just shows it to us in so many ways. So my sister and I both have always felt that and uh, we're quite lucky, we're quite lucky. So, all right guys, I love you so much. Enjoy the rest of your day today and uh, we'll speak soon. I don't know when I'm gonna go live next, but uh, if I have time tonight, I'll post. Joanna, thank you. Um, I'll keep you guys updated for sure, all right? But it's a pretty sweet place. We got a nicer view. Uh, we got more lights, you know, so there's definitely the pros and the cons. We don't have as nice of a bed, but you know, it's give and take guys. I love you a ton guys. Thank you so much for being here. And uh, Ho Chi Minh City, let's freaking go. I love you guys.